So today we're going to be breaking down a smooth and almost kind of jazzy melody inside of FL Studio. For the first sound in this melody, I went ahead and started off by making the bass line. So I went ahead and grabbed Boo Bass, which is a stock FL plug. Then I went ahead and layered that with this Iron Bass one shot. So here's what those sound like once they're combined together. So moving on to the MIDI for the boo bass, really it's a pretty simple pattern and when I was making it, I was really just focused on creating a nice rhythm. The other thing in the back of my mind was creating something similar to Some by Steve Lacey. Overall, I just really like the way that bass pattern sounds in that song and wanted to do something similar for this melody. Then looking at the MIDI for the bass one shot, it pretty much just switches out, which is something I like to do in a lot of my bass patterns, which is just use two different bass sounds and kind of have them switch back and forth. So then for the effects on those, I kept it pretty simple on both of them. So on the boo bass, the only thing I have is an EQ that just boosts the lows a little bit. Then for the bass one shot, all I have on it is Fruity Fast to start with the mix turned down to about 10%, and then another EQ to again just boost the lows and then also boost the highs just a tiny bit. After that, I went ahead and got started on the bass of the melody. So I kind of combined three sounds to make the main chord sound. So I went ahead and started off with this synth called Sign, then a key one shot, and then finally the LA Custom C7 Softest Piano from Keyscape. So here's what those sound like once they're all combined together. Then starting off with the MIDI for the sign synth, really it's very simple and the main thing I focused on was again just kind of copying the rhythm that I made in that bass line. If we go ahead and look at those MIDIs side by side, you can see that all of the changes in the synth MIDI correlate to changes in the bass pattern so they all kind of mesh together. So looking at it side by side, you can see the chord changes right here because this bass pattern hits. Same thing right here, we have a bass note hit here, therefore the chord changes. Really I just kind of wanted to mesh them together and make the rhythms of the two patterns match. For the chords themselves in this pattern, these are chords that I use a lot in my melodies. The last two videos I did use these exact same chords, so if you're looking for a more detailed explanation on how I came up with these chords, I'd recommend checking out both of these videos. Other than that, the only important thing I did to this MIDI is do Alt R to randomize it and Alt S to strum it just slightly to give it a more human feel. So the reason why I grouped these three sounds together is because they use pretty much the exact same MIDI pattern. So hopping over to the Omnisphere preset, you can see the MIDI is the exact same. I just removed this first chord. Then moving on to the key sound, Again, it's the exact same thing, except I deleted everything except that first chord and I just offset it a little bit. Moving on to the effects for those sounds, we're going to start off with the synth just because it has the simplest effect chain. So I started off by grabbing an EQ and just kind of boosting the mids a little bit. And then I went ahead and grabbed an ozone imager to make it feel nice and wide. Moving on to the piano sound, I started off with Fruity Delay 3 on the mono preset with the mix turned down to about 25%. Then I grabbed Fruity Flangus with the mix turned down to about 75%. And then finally, a Fruity Chorus on the 50 detune preset. Then moving on to the key sound is the most complex effect chain. So I went ahead and actually rendered this out, but I added some effects on it before I did. So I started off with Portal on the low fuzz preset, then Fruity Delay 3 on the mono preset with the mix turned down to about 80%, then a Fruity Chorus with the mix turned down to about 50%, and then finally a Fruity Fast Distort on the fuzz preset with the mix turned down to about 15%. After it was rendered out, the only other effect I added was a Fruity Reverb 2 with the pre-delay and decay turned up just a little bit. Finally, the last thing I did to the key sound was automate the stereo separation knob so I can switch it from a mono sound to a completely separated sound. Next up in the melody, I went ahead and added all of my drum loops and textures. I really think that this ended up giving it kind of that almost jazzy sound, so here's what those end up sounding like.
like I mentioned in my previous videos, my process for adding textures and drum loops is really just clicking through all of the drum and one shot kits that I've collected over the years and picking out ones that fit with the melody that I've created. Finally, for the last portion of the melody, which is the top lines, I wanted to keep it really simple as at this point when I was making it, the melody felt already super full. So I wanted to keep the top lines very simple as to not overcomplicate things. So for the first one, I grabbed a Skyline Piano one shot. Then for the second sound, I grabbed a Keyscape Creative preset called Ring the Bells. So here's what those sound like once they're combined together. So hopping into the MIDI for the Skyline piano, as you can see, like I mentioned, these are both very simple patterns. Really when I made this one, I was just clicking it in by ear and following the notes that I saw in the chords. Really there's nothing special to mention in any of these MIDIs except that I tried to keep it pretty open and just barely accent the pattern that was already playing in the background. Then moving on to the Omnisphere sound, again super duper simple, and the only thing that I really did here was mess with the velocities a little bit to give it a slightly more interesting sound. Really I can't stress enough with those two MIDIs that I was trying to make them super super simple because the melody was already sounding pretty full. So after I had those two MIDIs laid out, here's what everything Thing sounds like combined all together. All right, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Really think the most important thing to take away is the use of the textures and drum loops. I really think they brought this melody to the next level and gave them that kind of jazzy feeling. So that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.